Why are narcissists so angry to the point that they have to devalue you? My name is Lise Colucci and I am your life coach here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships. Have you experienced a narcissist throwing their anger at you through devaluing, through cutting you down, through building you up and then tearing down the foundation of that buildup? Have they projected all of their negativity onto you? If so, let me know in the comments. So basically, when the narcissist mask slips, what we mean by that is when they can no longer pretend to be the person that they want you to believe they are, when they can no longer play pretends about their personality, about who they are, about what they think and feel, and it slips and you see the truth of themselves, of how they actually feel about themselves and how they feel about others, they might feel rage when they notice that you have seen it. Because basically, it puts them in front of a mirror that shows them that their delusion isn't real. You know what I'm saying? So if you expose them to the fact that their mask has slipped, to the fact that they are not what they seem, then they are forced to look at themselves even for a second. And that image that they see coming from you in the form of your words, your expressions, your sadness, your hurt, right? Shows them who they really are. Now remember, a narcissistic person also believes the delusion of who they are. They have created this false persona in order to present themselves to the world so the world will give to them, okay? And when they see that that isn't real, it creates an inner turmoil in the narcissistic person. It will create all kinds of things and one of them is devaluing of you and rage. Why? To prove that that mask slip isn't real to continue to wear the false persona of the mask, of the presentation of who they want the world to believe they are, and so that they can lie to themselves and you about that. Reset the narrative, start over, you're bad, you're wrong, you're crazy, you're too sensitive, all the things they say to devalue you once you've seen through them, and they can go back to being who they present themselves as or they can devalue you and in front of other people present themselves the way they want to be seen. When the mask slips and you see it, they have lost control. They've lost control of the situation because you no longer can believe the fantasy. You can no longer join them in that delusion. Another reason they're devaluing is to control, to control the situation, to control you, to gain supply through that control. Let me ask you, have you had a narcissist devalue you once you've called them on something they've done that is incredibly toxic or something they've done when you've seen the mask slip? If so, let me know in the comments or hit the thumbs up. So remember, sometimes this is just a trick of manipulation. In order to get you from seeing what you're actually seeing, if you believe the gaslighting that you're not actually seeing what you're actually seeing, you know what I mean? Like they twist the words so you believe that maybe it was you that was seeing things wrong or that you're just judgmental or that, you know, whatever it is they're devaluing you with, then you're, you're thrown off the track and they don't have to confront or be in the face of their own stuff. They will express anger, they will rage, they will gaslight, they will try to scare you, all in order to control the situation into maintaining power. Sometimes the narcissist mask slips because they basically have mask fatigue. Imagine holding on to a false persona that long. Imagine having to think about all the lies that are told and connect them together in order to maintain this fake self that the narcissistic person presents. Imagine having to do that while interacting in a relationship with someone else. You'd be tired. You wouldn't be able to hold it very long, okay? It would slip. We all have a public face, right? We all have the private, like, relaxation or maybe blah or, you know, who we are in our homes that is not the way we are when we're out in public. That's kind of normal social behavior because if you're really tired, you're not going to walk around all day making the whole world deal with the fact that you're really tired, right? You're going to suck it up and you may not be your normal energetic self, but you are at least trying to present more suitable to the situation. That is different from wearing a mask because you're not trying to control other people through that. You're trying to actually not control other people through that. You're trying to present yourself in a way that lets you fit in with whatever's needed and move through life, right? 
So, but the narcissist, what their mask is doing is saying, this is who I am. I am so much spe more special. I am so much better. I am perfect. I am great. All the things that the narcissist needs you to believe so that you give to them. Now imagine doing that and trying to have a relationship that's real with someone where that other person actually has feelings, thoughts and stuff. The narcissist can't hold that mask forever. They let the mask slip because they're lazy and tired and can't hold it on anymore. And therefore they need to devalue you so that they can catch their breath and then pop that mask back on when they start love bombing again. And another reason that they may do this is when the narcissistic person does not get their way, they throw a narcissistic temper tantrum, the mask slips and they start devaluing you because you're not giving them what they want. So you guys, if all of this makes sense and you have dealt with this and you need help in your life, check out the information if you need coaching, group coaching, or peer support, okay? It's all down there. Keep watching these videos for information in, on what narcissists do, how they do it, why they do it, and how to heal from it. And I will see you guys on the next video.